Hi there. That smells so good. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. How are you, Mr. Morgan? Just give me a reason, boy. Mister, please. To slit your throat. Please leave me alone! When are you gonna stop with this? Maybe I don't need a reason. Just kill me if you're gonna. Come on, I'm so hungry. Good work, Arthur.
You well? You were right about this place. It's a good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Well, I should get back to it. Sure, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Yeah, goodbye. Track, more or less. Yep. Money and food. Now everyone needs to keep coming. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Good. We really needed this. It all counts, Pearson. Good job, Arthur. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Mr. Strauss. You ever miss Austria? Sometimes, I suppose. Guess loans are where the heart is. Splendid, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Can I lick your plate when you're done? What, what do you want me to do? Arthur. Wake up, Molly. I won't even ask what's in this. <laughs> you okay? Sure. Hello. <laughs> Starting to look like home. <coughs> it's taking shape. Good work, yeah. Miss Grimshaw. <coughs> well, anyway, hey, I have a hundred things to do. Hello, Jack.
Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Well, don't let me bother you. Sure, well, as you were. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Thanks, Pearson. How are you? Hello. Arthur. How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, 
Killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Hey. hey. Ladies, sing us a song. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? <laughs> well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? 
Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Old Go left Bob. here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? 
Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No, Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers.
Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. Some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off him! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel.
me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off her, you son of a... Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Coming out from the back room with dry goods with her hair and clothes all messed up. Come on, what try and help people. I, I do all I can manage. Are can you I help you, sir? Huh? I'm looking you for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's a lot of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. It's after you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! Don't say That's my horse! Just borrowing it. Stay away from me! Get back here, right now!
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I can't hold on much longer. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Howdy, sir. Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs, just watch him grow.
Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. What is your problem? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Mister. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Thanks. Sir, I like you, Mister. You have a kind face. Well, good luck to you. Goodbye. Stop! That area's off limits. Hey, you! That area is for employees only. Come on, that ain't right anymore, and you're out. Hey there. Hi there. Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Ah. I really appreciate your service. Goodbye. Partner. Come on. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Evening. So. Give me something. Hello, sirs. That's that. I just want to get a drink. Harsh. Evening, mister. Evening. I can see you're a fellow who ain't to be messed with. Well...
Hey. Evening. How's things? Oh, I've been better. Well, all the best then. See you around. Good evening. Good evening, partner. You sure run into some nice folks out this way. Oh, really? Oh, Arthur! Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, a regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer! Come <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, here, you! Oh, let's go! Shoot these bastards! Oh. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. <laughs> 
You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Howdy. Hey, mister. Partner? Whew, sure is some hard country around these parts. Psst. Well, good luck to you. All right. Well, you don't go thirsty Careful, now. Careful, big man. Easy there. Mind yourself. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Hello, mister. Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Mister? You know when you have one of those days? All right. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So long.
Hey, partner. Hello there. You know that last big storm? Knocked a tree right down on my house. That's how it is. Want me to get them back out there? Well, I gotta head off. Welcome, after a ticket. What do you have playing today? The bear. Mm-hmm. I need a ticket, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, There's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. 
He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Come again. How can I help you? Bye now. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. 
This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Move it. You might as well just scuttle off. Don't want to have anything to do with you. Well, hope you've gotten it out of your system. I can easily force you out of here. Go! Get out! I'm telling you now! Relax, friend. Out of my way! This wind will blow you off your feet. Yep, eyes are watering. Morning. Mr. Sheriff. Mister? You know mister. the world would... Morning, mister. You're doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Your wife gave me an earful about spending more time with the children. Hey. Hi, fellers. Morning, partner. Howdy. Nice people around here. Oh? Anyway, didn't mean to disturb you, folks. Goodbye. Good day, dear. Good morning. Hey there. Don't think I've seen you in here before. I only keep select items on the shelves gum and candies behind the shelf, and the medicine and tonics are on the table against the wall. See the catalog if you can't find what you're looking for. Details on all my products in there if you need them. Just show me what you want. I'll fetch it right up. Okay, let's see what I want.
Oh, it's real good. Thanks. Over here. Fellers, morning. Windy is all hell, ain't it? All I want is one nice day without any wind. Not again. Mr. Sirloin will put a smile on your man's face and guaranteed. Get out of this, friend. Hey, what's going on here? Boys. You paid. What you staring at? Boys. Move along. I made it right with you, I swear. Well, I guess you forgot about the Move interest. Along. We'll get you next. Just wondering what you boys are up to. Mm -hmm. Get lost! <laughs> you two can oh. win a fair fight, that it? Looks like... This you? You do this? I don't want nothing, but that's a day's work. You can leave me out of this. Time to move, I reckon. Thanks for your attention, folks. Let's go.
That's a good girl. You doing good, girl. Damn. Look out! Hey! What is wrong with you? Yep. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens round here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand? No me? need for threats. I ain't quarrels. Keep going. That's it. Off your trot. We'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. We've got ah. some... 